Oh, Liam's amazing. He's absolutely brilliant. You know, he's a consummate pro, incredibly hardworking, and he's an absolute gentleman, you know, and, and being part of... One of the really exciting things about the commuter is, as an actor, you know, some things you just dip in and out of and you do your bit. On the commuter, you know, there are about seven of us that were just on that train from day one through to the very end, and it was fantastic, so exciting to do it. For me, it's uh, very exciting because it's my first premiere here in the States, so I'm thrilled. <laughs> it was amazing. What can I say? He's one of the best actors, I think, in the world. And I discovered that he's a better person even and a great, yeah, a great actor and a great companion. Like, he's uh, so humble and uh, such a professional that it was amazing to see him work. Of course, it's a thriller, it's an action movie, but the, the leading character is a normal guy. He's not a superhero, you know? He's just a regular guy that ends up in a huge mess. And uh, also because it makes you ask yourself the question, what would you do? That's the, um, that's the thing about this movie, right? It all starts with one question. Would you do one little thing that could change someone's life? So I think that's the key, that's interesting. It's a different approach. Amazing. I mean, he's one of my heroes. So, you know, it's like a bucket list. You know, you want to work with all your heroes. And I work with him on Batman Begins, but we weren't in the same scenes. So we never got to actually be on screen together. So this was like an amazing opportunity to actually be with him. And we have, well, you haven't seen the film yet, but we have some nice moments together, which are great. And it's nice to know it's there forever. On, on celluloid. But you will not know what's happened until the end of the movie. There are twists and turns all the way through. It's right, you're right on the edge of your seat. And what I love about it is the proposition at the beginning of the film is something that I think we'd all think about. Is like if, if someone came up to you on your daily commute and said, hey, if you could find somebody on this train before it gets to the end of the line, and I gave you a whole load of money for that, you know, would you do it? Would you find that person? And, and of course your question is, but what happens when I find that person? Don't worry about that. There's $75,000 waiting for you if you find that person before the end of the line. Would you do it? And that's the premise that kicks off the movie. And I think that's why I love the script. Because you kind of go, a bit of you goes, uh, I think I'd probably think about taking the money. Which is kind of what Liam's character, Michael, does. And then the whole, his whole world gets turned upside down. No, I love it. He's uh, amazing. He's the best actor in the world, and uh, he's a good friend. And uh, we just want to keep making movies for as long as we can together. You know, we're trying to make it thrilling for the audience. We try to make it character-based, have some universal themes, and um, there's some action, but uh, not too much because I think uh, audiences are very smart, and audiences uh, they can feel when. Uh, uh, the action is just overbearing over the story, and uh, in my, you know, in my way of thinking, story and character comes first, and then you know, excitement um, is welcome. But you know, Liam is the man to uh, to do that. You know, we we think the same way in that sense. Uh, it's a puzzle. For me, I'm a, I like to solve puzzles. I love uh, I love to watch movies that are a puzzle. Try to figure them out. I love to play video games. I love to. Uh, you know, uh, mysteries, reality-based mysteries, and I think the audience these days, they're also intrigued by that, and uh, it's a unique position to be in when you're able to craft the puzzle from the inside out, you know, like creating the puzzle for the audience to figure out, because uh, it's like a puzzle within a puzzle. So I, uh, I enjoy that, and it keeps me busy, and uh, it's, it's, I feel passionate about it. When you're shooting a scene, he's always aware of the complete arc of the whole film. A lot of directors only focus on individual scenes without thinking of the overall shape of the film. He's one of the few I've worked with in over, over 70 films where he's always aware of the, the overall dynamic of the film, which you have to have if you're telling a suspenseful film. You have to build up the tension. And he's, he's a master at it. 
It's the story of an everyman, middle class, who reaches the age of 60, his insurance firm doesn't want him anymore, he's mortgaged up to the hilt, he has a kid about to start college, and Vera Farmiga's character on the commute back home offers him an incentive to earn money, to do something very simple, which is to find a passenger before the last stop. And in finding that passenger, he finds himself involved in this huge criminal conspiracy that will affect him and all the passengers and his family in a life or death situation. That's a good popcorn thriller. Yeah, love it. I've known him for years and, uh, and we've done another movie together, but I've been watching all of his big action movies for the past 10 years, so all of a sudden you find yourself in one. You go, oh right, I'm in one of those movies that I've been watching, so it's pretty awesome. It's like an Alfred Hitchcock movie shoved through an action movie meat grinder. Um, and John was really great at that, so it's nice to be in one. I used to be a cop, I was his partner, um, so his goal is to find this person, and then all of a sudden, you know, it seems easy enough, and then, uh, and then all hell breaks loose. <laughs> and then he's involved in a conspiracy, and the cops are involved, and you know, on a train. The movie market is shrinking about what movies are made and get and get out and, and to be seen. And this is a big fun action movie that should be seen in a big screen. So it's uh, it's it's uh, from that perspective, I guess it is a throwback. But it's uh, it's a throwback to a great time. <laughs> For me, the idea really came with the with the notion of a, a mysterious woman coming on board a train and making an offer to a man. Um, that he kind of can't refuse, and then the implications of that. Liam just has a way of bringing a gravitas and a believability and um, a kind of an everyman vibe where you just root for him, you, you, you really want to see him succeed and survive and win, and um, there's very few actors in Hollywood that do, do what he does. You know, basically what I ask, I ask him to define what kind of a man he is. I give him that challenge. Yeah. We have these humdrum, these ho-hum existences, and it always takes some sort of crisis to make us figure out who we are and, and to define ourselves in these circumstances.